our last poet this evening, well, the last poet before the mic, has written criticism, social commentary, arts, advocacy, and editorial opinion for numerous journals and newspapers in Canada. He's authored seven books of fiction. He's been published by Anvil Press, Random House, and Arsenal Pulp. His latest book, though, is Black Liquor, his first poetry collection from Caitlin Press. And anybody who attended the art class AGM knows that he has a passion for poetry and a high expectation of the Uncle Mike later on tonight. Come on up, Dennis Bolton. Thank you. Respect to my uh, two colleagues tonight. Uh, so much energy, I got a little weary listening to you. <laughs> but I'll do my best to to bring up the rear here. Uh, everybody knows that I'm not known for my love poetry. But here's a couple. This is called, On That Eon You Turned 30. We heard ice clink chorus by the cocktail dozen in that American bar busy on a mystery side road outside somewhere in Wisconsin. A moment stunned by your hair flung on a turn to speak. We drank old fashions and sung your milestones did not know when or where life would go and barely cared. The miles and miles we'd come felt perfect. If only they would stop as the planet spun on and we stepped toward the mandate to strive and establish and proclaim. But synaptic soul desire draws back to that cherry glass night as we regaled within chocolate clothing, our savory hearts sated on edible freedom. In a spectral warp of happiness, unclutched by wisdom, flowing out the spirit taps of the eternal tavern, atop eternal wood grain, a sheen of frozen whiskey. theme. I've got some new poems here. This is called In a Weekend Office. In a weekend office we seek camera-free couple space. Our heat, the soul of opportunity to be hidden from monitor eyes. Well secure, stand folded for the stolen rhythm Ride wary, push to the dance without a stage. She was that wonderful girlfriend who grew up rich, but sought alternatives. And I would likely never have experienced cockroaches without her. And so we come down to the crucible. How much warmth, much life will the equation support? And what will be offered to the aching, the core of it, from central misery of having left that lover walk away through mists of mind, age, to arrive at pain no pill will assuage? Where is this place of edifice, edifice and nobility in the empty rooms of the dirty cardboard entrance to someone's heart. If the universe is a shipping container, crack and hold the geography of eternal progress, what of the locale of that giant walking shadow? 